But just a view optimizes labor visibility at CentOS. Joining us today to speak about that, Seth Patton, CEO and founder at Logistic View, and David Main, Senior Director of Distribution at CentOS. Gentlemen, it's great to see you. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks Russell. Russell. David, let me start with you, if I might. Let's talk about uh, CentOS. First of all, what is it that the company does for the benefit of any viewer who doesn't really know about CentOS? And then, if you would, set up for us just what the labor situation at CentOS was prior to partnering with Logistiview. Sure, Russell. So CentOS is a uh, uniform and uh, goods and services company that has over a million customers in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, particularly our issue was in our rental garment distribution centers. Uh, we have nine garment distribution centers, also manufacturing plants that kind of do both uh, across the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we were struggling with understanding what our real labor visibility, uh, productivity, and efficiency data was for our warehouse workers, uh, particularly those that apply garments um, or apply emblems and embellishments to our garments. So um, from the past, all this data was self-reported. At the end of a shift, you know, the workers would tell us what they did during the day. Um, and we didn't have a warehouse management system or a labor management system that allowed us to see exactly what that productivity and efficiency was. So that was our gap. Uh, as when, and we started to connect with Logistiview uh, to try to fill that void. Well, clearly a situation that was less than optimal. Let me just ask you this. Did you uh, vet any other uh, uh, vendors you know, in addition to Logistic View, before you ultimately partnered with them. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we did. We talked to several different vendors to better understand what we can do. Uh, one of our challenges was uh, connecting it to our systems, right? So uh, that was very difficult to try to connect uh, software into our system. What we found with Logistic View, it was much easier, uh, an easy to use system that we can extract data, get the information from Logistic View, and then bring it back in and uh, get to the point where we want it to be to better understand our productivity. So well, that's quite a commendation, I must say. Uh, Seth, I want to turn to you. Let's talk about the solution that Logistiview brought to the relationship. So if you would, walk us through that. Sure. So one of the biggest challenges with capturing labor productivity in uh, environments where you're doing value-added services is that getting that data can tend to be a very slow process. And so ultimately, capturing that data slows the worker down and makes them less productive. And so a key part of the solution we provided for CentOS was a tablet-based platform that applies very, very rapid web-based screens where the users can just tap in data very quickly and continue on their way. And so by providing that in the cloud on a web-based platform, it allowed us to deploy across multiple sites simultaneously and also provide input and output from their uh, business systems uh, in a very, very controlled way. Like you said, a simpler integration that allowed for rapid deployment. Well, let's talk about the implementation itself. Uh, let's talk about a timeline. You, you must have been meeting with uh, CentOS folks to understand just exactly what the problem was. Uh, and then, of course, there was the implementation uh, itself. So walk us through that. What was that like? So initially, when we first started talking with them, the solution design process, kind of understanding the, the core requirement of being able to capture data very rapidly. Is a, was a critical factor. It wasn't just about being able to show the data or show the productivity numbers, but be able to capture that data very rapidly. That was a uh, pretty quick process, you know, probably over a couple of months worth of initial conversations. We subsequently went into an implementation that I believe was another couple months worth of, call it uh, setup and uh, solution tweaking to make sure that all the data was flowing properly. And then we, I think, went live with that first site probably within a couple of months. And then I think almost immediately, the you know, not long after that, the pandemic started. Mm -hmm. And so the, uh, the, the project you know, kind of sat on hold for a little while as that one site was running. And then over the course of the last year, we've been able to roll out across the remainder of the network uh, you know, following that uh, resurgence of the product or the uh, project in, uh, inside the organization. So it's not just implementation and then goodbye. It is a continuing relationship. Would that be Absolutely. fair to say? Absolutely, and I think that's that's a critical part of the process. Software is a bit of a living and breathing breathing thing. Um, so if you really buy transactionally and you don't have a relationship with the vendor long term, um, chances are it's not as valuable. And so we really care about that deeply with our customer base. David, eventually I want to talk to you about um, the benefits that you've realized by dint of this relationship. But I also would like to get your view on the implementation itself. What was that experience from your side? Yeah, that was great. I mean. 
that was one thing that we really liked about Logistaview. They came in and really understood our processes, what we do, um, took the time to understand the entire manufacturing value added service process, and then design a system around that that really worked for us. As Seth said, I mean, having it as user friendly and as easy as possible was key for us. You know, our workers, you know, they're out there sewing garments, uh, heat sealing applications on uh, garments and they were writing everything they did down. So now they just have an easy to use tablet, you know, they scan their work order, you know, hit one button and they're off and going. So understanding that and making it easy to use was key for us. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, David, that I'm in a similar situation in my company. I'm thinking uh, that I might want to hook up with a uh, logistic view as well. But my question to you would be, tell me, what are the benefits that CentOS has realized by dint of this relationship. So walk me through that. What sure. would you say? Yeah, so it's um, it's allowed us to really see what workers do, apply the right um, efficiency percentages or value-added service percentages to what they do, and then move our labor around to where the work is better. So we've seen about a 10 to 15% efficiency gain just in that function that we do. Um, but probably most importantly is we're consistent across our network. So as Seth said, we went through and implemented this in all of our distribution centers. So now we can look across every DC and see what they're all doing and get to measure them against each other, which is really beneficial for us just to understand how we can be better and be more efficient. Well, a great uh, story and no doubt a great relationship. Gentlemen, I thank you very much. I know you're busy here at the, uh, at the conference, but you found time to speak with us. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Russell. Russell. Appreciate it. Speaking today with Seth Patton of Logistiview and David Main of CentOS about how the labor productivity and visibility situation at CentOS was optimized. Thank you for watching.